Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. This is the first video of a series where we will see how to implement an authentication authorization in Angular using JOT, JSON Web Token. In this video, we will see how to display the application's header, this one, only for the logged in users. So, let's get started. At first, let's visit the login component. Let's open the login component. And here we can see that we have a submit form. And it does the following. If the form is invalid, we have the early exit here. Otherwise, we have this service. We invoke the method login. We provide the username. We provide the password. and when we subscribe, we navigate to dashboard. So let's see this in action. Type anything here, just a password and login. And we can see that we are redirected to dashboard. Nice. Let's go back to Profanis. And now do the following. I will console log here the response to see what the server sent back. Type anything here and any password, go to the console and log in. And this is the response from the server. We have the ID, we have the token and we have the username. Please note that for this video I have a fake backend server and it returns hard-coded this token. To display the header only for the logged in users, we will keep in local storage the token and as soon as we have the token we will assume that the user is logged in. So let's do this. At first we need to create another service, generate a service and I will name it auth. Confirm this one. And in this service I will create the method login which will accept the username of type string and the password of again of type string. What we can see in the login component is that we have the API service and invokes the login method. So we will move this from here and we will apply it in the auth service. So we have the inject API service here, and now let's also move this logic. And we need this logic here. Of course, we have to replace this with a username, and of course, this with the password. We won't navigate from the service. We won't subscribe from the service. The only thing that we will do is just return this. Let's start step by step. Now let's grab the auth service and go to login component and replace the API service with our newly created auth service. And of course we have to update this as well. At first, let's make sure that everything works well. Go back to home clear everything, type anything in the username and the password, login, and it seems that everything works as expected. Since we now have the auth service, what we need to do is the following. We would like to grab the token like we did in the component. So after login, I'm going to have a tab operator. I would like to grab the response. And you know what? At first, I will console log the response. And I know that in the response, we have a property named token. And this is what I'm going to console log. So let's go to the login component, remove this. And let's go to the browser to see what we have. Go to home. Clear everything type a username, type a password, login, and this is the token. 
Nice. Since we have this, we can now do the following. From the auth service, we can keep this information in a local storage. So local storage set item. I will name it profanis auth. And the value will be just the token. We no longer need this one. And the other thing that we need to have is a behavior subject which will be responsible to keep the state of the logged in user. If the user is logged in, the state will be true, false otherwise. The behavior subject will be private to protect it from many external changes and we will create a public observable where we will register the subscribers. Let's start with the private. Is logged in equals new behavior subject of type boolean and the default state will be false. And as said, we will create a public one is logged in equals this will be based on the behavior subject as observable. If you want to change this state, we will do it directly from this auth service and we can do it here immediately. This is logged in and I will provide the value true. Now we have the private one and the public and from this public we will create any subscriber we will like. By invoking the method next we know that every subscriber of this observable will be notified. And what is our subscriber? And this is the thing that we are going to do now. We will go to the app component HTML and we are going to control the app navigation. And for this purpose, I will go firstly to the app component TS. In the constructor, I will inject the auth service. I will have this like a public. And I will do the following. In the app component HTML, I will have here an end if. If auth service is logged in. And of course, I need also to use here the async pipe. When this logged in is true, I will display the app navigation and when this is false, I won't. So let's go to the browser to see what we have. Let's go back. So we have here the login. We do not see any header, but if I provide anything here and type a password and click login, now we can see the header. So this is what we want to achieve, right? But here we have one problem. How about if I reload? Before we do this, let's go to the application. And here we have, in local storage, we have the key profanes auth, something that we just set previously. We have the value, and this is the token that we get from the server. And if I reload, what we can see is that we have the local storage item here, but we do not have the header. We have to make this work, right? Again, let's go back to the host service. And you know what? I'm going to do the following. I'm going to change the state of the is logged in behavior subject based on the value that I have in the local storage, specifically in this key. In the constructor, what we're going to do, local storage, get item, based on this key and I know that this is my token and I'm going to do the following I will change the state of this logged in behavior subject by converting the token to a boolean equivalent if I have a value in the token this logged in state will be true false otherwise Please note that this is a very simple approach. In production environments, we should make sure that the token is not expired. Every JSON web token has an expiration date and we should definitely check this expiration date before change the state of this logged in. 
let's go to the browser and immediately we can see that we have the header and the reason is that we have this token here if I delete it and reload the header disappears let's go back to login we do not have any key here let's type profanis type any password click login we can see that here we have the profanis auth with this value we also have our header and if I reload again we have the header so that was it thanks for watching Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.